what do you say? Yes, yes. Here are the new statute. Statute approved. Statute. Chart statute. statute yeah. Approves in Madrid. Yeah. And the name of the company is Caja Laboral Popular. Uh -huh. So, and <laughs> you that you know more than the others about the figures, you should be the general manager of this cooperative. He said also. No, we're not. But yeah. <laughs> he, he realized and he, he had the vision that the creation of Caja Laboral should be or will be a very important to create new cooperatives. Because Caja Laboral was created, as you know, with uh, the division, the bank division that is today, but also with the entrepreneurial division. Mm. That entrepreneurial division was maybe more important than the financial department. Mm. Because from this uh, entrepreneurial division, they research in the market, mm. And uh, they, uh, well, they realized that, well, for example, we can produce, I don't know, plastic car components. Mm. They, they uh, select one or two people mm. uh, that, is, are going to, uh, that is going to be the mm. manager and mm. one. Mm. And after that, these two people, one or two people, in one or two years, they make the feasibility plan, the the deep uh, uh, market uh, research mm -hmm. and after one year or two years with all the feasibility plan after that the bank the, the bank put the money and also the new members and they start with the new new factory with the new cooperative so the the entrepreneurial division was more important than the than the bank do you think it was significant that the bank and the entrepreneurial division were together for the for the initial stages of the Mondragon cooperation uh, cooperative. Was, I mean, I know you said that it was the empresarial division was more important than the bank to begin with, but the fact that they were together, yes, as, as, in it's, yeah. as different departments of the same cooperative, yeah, was that really important? Two division inside the cooperative. Yeah. There was only one general manager. That yeah. Was or yeah. Machia yeah. was the general manager, but after that, one bank uh, division mm. and entrepreneurial division. Mm. But only one uh, general manager, only one governing council, and that's one. But the bank takes the money, yeah, and the other make, one spends it, make profits, yeah. But after that, invest, yeah, in the other entrepreneurial, not in the entrepreneurial division, pay the workers of the entrepreneurial yeah. division and put. The seed, seed money, seed, seed investment, money, uh, save money to put the seed capital in order to start the new cooperative. So they work together, of course. So but if if they, if they were separate, if they were different cooperatives, if they were banking and then the empresarial division maybe, were separate, it might not have worked so well. Uh, huh? Maybe it didn't work uh, very well because yeah. because the bank t save money, mm. the bank uh, mm. take money, mm. Uh, mm. but after that they use. To pay, mm. to pay the workers mm. because, mm. If, for example, in the 90s, in the early mm. 90s, mm. there were 120 people mm. working in mm. the entrepreneurial mm. So 120 people mm. that has paid it, were paid it by the mm. bank mm. Mm. in order to create a new company and that's one. So the empresarial division has gotten smaller or has some of the empresarial division gone into the consulting business, some of it gone into the MCC? Yeah, two, uh, yeah uh, half of them. They create their own cooperatives. Which is the consultant. That, which the, it's separate is it Lossky? LKS. 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 And the other one, the other uh, half of them, they create uh, MCC. Okay. MCC. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So before also the entrepreneurial division was was the, the I don't know, the key for the, for the new enterprise. Yeah. But very connected with the bank. Yeah. Because uh, Ormachia, that was the, pre the general manager of our, mm. was at the same time the manager of, of the entrepreneurial division mm. Mm. and of the bank. Mm. The bank saved money mm. and the, the, the others invest in different uh, yeah. new products. So uh, they had to work together at that time. Because I'm just thinking in the, in the US, this, this supposedly the secret to this, um, the new economy, say in Silicon Valley or in California, is the venture capitalist, yes. the venture capital scene, and they acted very sim in a very similar way. They were money people, but they were also very involved in new business, business yes. ideas, understanding the technical aspects, researching the market, and so on. Yeah, 
And after that, the, the history is that after that, uh, the Bank of Spain, mm. uh, the government mm. of the Bank of Spain said it's not possible to maintain inside the bank mm. the entrepreneurial division no. because, because you, you have a lot of risk. Mm. So the bank should be only the bank. Mm. It's not possible to be together with the entrepreneurial mm. division. Mm. And also, first of all, all the, all the investment that made Caja Laboral was to invest new cooperatives. Mm. So all the eggs they put in the same basket. Yeah. And the Bank of Spain say, well, you have to separate mm. the entrepreneurial division mm. and should be another thing different from the bank. For that reason, mm. one of the reasons, and another reason was that uh, uh, well, to create MCC, mm. uh, one of the reasons mm. to create Mundraum Cooperative Corporation mm. in 1991 mm. was in order to uh, accept this proposal from the Bank of Spain because they didn't accept to be in the same bank mm. uh, to too much mm. risk. Mm -hmm. The other reason uh, to create MCC was in order to get more synergies and more economy of scale. Mm. Mm. Before 1991, mm. before the creation of MCC, the organization was, Caja Laboral was the umbrella mm. that helped to create a lot of cooperatives mm. and after that these cooperatives were organized by a regional, a, a regional geographical mm. uh, groups. In San Sebastian there were five or six cooperatives mm. and they set up the Orbide group. In Bilbao uh, they create the Nervion group, in mm. Mondragon the Fagor group, mm. in Pamplona the Goicoa group. So they create 16, uh, not sectorial, 16 geographical groups. Yeah. So they're not industrial groups, they're geographical yeah, groups. Yeah, geographical groups. And in San Sebastian they will be, uh, they, they were, for example, one cooperative in the, in the car maker sector mm. uh, component, the mm. other one in the, I don't know, uh, producing machines, the other one producing uh, mm. plastic uh, things for domestic appliances. Yeah. And they were working together mm. and together with the other 15, with the other 15 uh, geographical groups. Mm. But the problem was that uh, in San Sebastian, for example, it was a cooperative producing plastic component for mm. cars. Mm. Another one in Bilbao, another mm. one in Guernica, and another one in Montragon. Mm -hmm. And they were, they were fighting competing each other, each other. competing yeah. each other, because, yes, they were created by Caja Laboral, but they were very, very independent cooperatives. Mm. Inside Caja Laboral, but nothing else relation. And Caja Laboral, with, from this uh, entrepreneurial division, they, they press them, they push them, to create the groups in order to avoid the economical crisis or like this one, or to pass people from one to the other one. Mm -hmm. But uh, 1991, if, if you remember, you were young people, but yeah. we were a very high economical crisis yeah. at that time, 91, yeah. 92, 93. Yeah. And because of that uh, problem also, mm -hmm. was another reason that we create a, a new group, mm -hmm. but not organized by uh, geographical groups, mm. but organized by sectorial groups. Mm. So one cooperative in San Sebastian, another one in Guernica, another one in Bilbao, and another one in Montragón, we set up and we create the uh, component, uh, car, automotive, automotive component sector mm. cooperative second degree, mm -hmm. remember, yeah? Right. In order to get more synergies and get more economy of scale. And another reason, another reason was that 1992, where, when Spain merged inside the uh, European Commission, European uh, Union, mm -hmm. be, uh, well, Spain started in 1986 in the European Union, but not only was more the political union, but not speaking about the economical union. And uh, 1992 was the open market for Spain, speaking about money, mm. uh, about the economy mm. in Europe. It does mean that if we didn't do anything and if we were competing with uh, us, the competitors, German, English, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Italians and French company, they will compete without any control, without any 
uh, technical protection and that's one. And for that reason, it was another reason 